What's up guys, it's Drax here. Today I'm gonna to show you guys on how to make this Black Joggers Red Christmas Thief outfit. So for this, I'm gonna show you on how to get the Black Joggers first. To get the Black Joggers, pull up your interaction menu, go to your services, go to Mobile Operations Center and request your MOC. After you have requested your MOC, just wait for it to spawn on the map. Mine will probably spawn right here. But once your MOC does spawn in on the map, you're then just gonna to wanna to head to the back of your MOC. After you do get inside your MOC, you're going to want to go ahead and go to the jobs inside your MOC. So it's going to say access mobile operations. After you are here, go ahead and hit right on the D-pad, log in, and scroll down to the bottom. And we're going to be using the work dispute so we can get the black joggers. So just go ahead and launch this job. And after you do launch this job, you guys will need a friend to help you out. And after you guys have a friend loaded in that can help you out, you can just go ahead and start the job. And for the difficulty, make sure you do set it to easy so then you guys do have more lives. But I'll just get back to you whenever I do load into the job. Once you load into the job, if you guys are the first player, which is the host, you guys will begin the black joggers. But if you're the second player, you're going to be getting the red joggers. Whenever you guys fully load in, just go ahead and head to your apartment. When you do get to your apartment, just letting you guys know, if you guys are new to this, you guys cannot see your apartment on the map, so you will have to remember where your apartment is at. So whenever you are at your apartment, go ahead and walk up to the blue circle, and you're going to want to go ahead and blow yourself up. You can use a rocket or a sticky bomb. So whenever, once you're in the blue circle, just blow yourself up. And after you do load back into the session, go ahead and just walk into your apartment. Whenever you're here inside your apartment, go ahead and go down to the changing clothes section. Whenever you're here inside the closet, just go ahead and scroll down to your accessories and you're just going to want to change one part of your outfit. So just change the gloves or you can change the shoes. But since I'm just going to go ahead and change the shoes, head to your accessories, scroll down to gloves, and you can just put on any pair of gloves that you guys want. After you do equip the gloves that you guys do like with the, with the outfit, it really doesn't matter. But just go ahead and save this outfit on any slot. After you do save the outfit, you can now back up, back out of the closet. Go ahead and you can now pull up your phone and just leave the job from your phone. When you do load back into a public session with the black joggers, you can go ahead and head to the clothing store so we can go ahead and do the outfit that you guys see in the thumbnail. Now I'm going to show you guys on how to make this invisible torso with the black joggers. So to do this, once you have gotten to the clothing store, I'm going to take off the duffel bag and I'll show you guys later. But once you have made it to the clothing store, walk over here to the top section, scroll down until you find the overcoats, which will be on slot 19. And you're going to look for the urban patched open parka, which is on slot 46. If I just say urban closed or urban patched closed parka, I'm going to show you guys on how to open it. So if it is closed and you have equipped it, back out, out, back out of the tops, pull up your interaction menu, go to your style, scroll down to your jacket. And if it does say closed like this, just press right on the D-pad once and it'll be set to open just like that. All you want to do now is go back over here to your tops, scroll down until you do find designer t-shirts, which will be down here on slot 31. And you're going to look for the black print t-shirt on slot 59. Whenever you do equip the black print t-shirt and you do have the parka jacket, you can then just back out of the tops. We don't need to worry about the pants since we already do have the black joggers. Go over here to the accessories, scroll down to gloves, which will be on slot seven and you're gonna look for the black woolen gloves, which will be right here on slot 58. After you've equipped the black woolen gloves, back out of your accessories, head over here to your shoes, click on sneakers, which will be on slot two, and equip the all red st studded sneakers on slot 34. After you've equipped the all red studded sneakers, back out of your shoes, and take off any head accessories that your character has. After you have taken off your head accessories, all you wanna do is walk up here to the front counter, Hit edit saved outfits and save the outfit on any slot that you want. After you have saved the outfit, you can then just back out of your edit saved outfits. Scroll down through the clothing until you find heist coveralls on slot 13. And scroll down from slot 9 through slot 12 and equip one of these outfits with the toxic mask. After you do equip one of these outfits, back out of the front counter. And we're just going to head over here to the pier to do the telescope glitch. Whenever you have made it to a telescope on the pier, just do the telescope glitch. So go and run past the telescope like this, hit right on the D-pad. You'll see that your character runs in place, then looks towards the telescope. That's how you know you're glitched. Pull up your interaction menu, go to your style, and equip the outfit you just saved earlier, which should look like this. After your outfit looks like this, put away your interaction menu. When you walk away from the telescope, the mask will merge over to the outfit. 
and all you want to do now is just head to a gun store. Now that you're at the gun store, walk over here to the top section, hit edit saved outfits and save the outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save the outfit, you can then back out of the tops and now we're going to start up a job. So just hit pause, go to online, click on jobs, click on play job, click on rockstar created, click on missions, look for the job that's called a titan of a job and fully start up that mission. You can see once you do load into the mission, you will see that you have an invisible torso just like this. Now walk back over here to your tops, hit edit saved outfits and save the outfit on whichever slot you want again. After you have saved the outfit, back out of the tops, pull up your phone and just quit the job from your phone. When you load back into a public session, you will see that you do have an invisible torso, but now you're just going to want to head over here to the clothing store. So once you do see that you have an invisible torso, go over here to the mask. Scroll down until you find festive, which should be right up here on slot 12. Maybe it's on a different slot for you, but for me, it's on slot 12. Click on festive and you're going to equip the stocking. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm, I don't think everybody has this mask, but I know a lot of people do. And it was from a certain time whenever he did log on to GTA. But once you do have the stocking mask, equip it on your character and then you can just back out of the mask store. Now we're going to equip a parachute. So this is very important so that we can get the duffel bag merged over to the outfit. Pull up your interaction menu, go to your style, go to your parachute, set your parachute to on, and have it set to the Israel shoot bag. If you don't have an Israel shoot bag, go to any gun store on the map, go up to the front counter, go to parachute, go to parachute bags, and then look for the Israel shoot bag, which should be on slot 25. But after you buy the Israel shoot bag, back out of the front counter, pull up your interaction menu, go to style, go to your parachute, set it to on, and it will be set to the Israel shoe bag, just like this. Now, after the Israel shoe bag is on your outfit, go over here to your tops, hit edit saved outfits, and save the outfit on any slot that you want. After you have saved the outfit, we're now gonna do the duffel bag glitch. So to do this, make sure you are on the mission called a first dose two. So the first mission, you will see that there is a giant R on the map. And after you complete the first one, the second job, it's gonna be over here, which there will be a giant yellow D over here at this location. All you want to do is just go over there to that location. After you have made it to this location where the D is, all you want to do is walk into the yellow circle and hit right on the D pad to play the mission. So you don't need to change anything on here, but make sure the mission is called a first dose two. After you have made sure the mission is called a first dose two, you can then just confirm the settings and launch the job on your own. Now that you are in the mission, it's going to tell you to go to the Jet Sam terminal. You're just going to look for a truck that will look like this. It will be either be over there in that parking lot behind me, or it's going to be right here. And then you'll see a giant truck logo pop up on the map. And once you do get inside the truck, all you want to do is pick up the party supplies, which will be right next to you. After you picked up the party supplies, it's going to tell you to go to the freak shop, but you guys don't have to do that. It's going to tell you to detach the trailer after we are on the road for a little bit, and then it's gonna tell you to go to the Lost MC Clubhouse. So when you have made it to the Lost MC Clubhouse, all you need to do now is just take out all the enemies. So now that we have taken out all the enemies, just go inside the clubhouse, and then it's gonna tell you to look for the plant, which will be normally inside this door. All you wanna do is look at the whiteboard, pull up your phone, go to the Snapmatic, and just take a picture of the whiteboard, just like this. Then you can hit continue, and then after you have done that, walk outside this door, go over here to your right, you'll see that there's a duffel bag. Grab the duffel bag, it's now gonna be on your back. Go over here to the drugs, which will be on the table behind you, and start looting up the duffel bag. After you have looted up the duffel bag, all you wanna do now is you can see that it's still empty. Pull up your duffel, or pull up your interaction menu, go to your style, scroll down to your accessories, click on accessories, and you're gonna scroll through your gloves for at least a few seconds. After you have scrolled through your gloves for at least a few seconds, you can then just back out of your interaction menu, pull up your phone, and just quit the job from your phone. And there you guys go. Whenever you load back into a public or an invite-only session, that the duffel bag, the black open duffel bag, merges over to the outfit just like this. So hopefully you have all the components, and if you don't have the black woolen gloves on your character because you had to scroll through your gloves, just pull up your interaction menu, go to your style, go to your accessories, go to your gloves, and scroll through your gloves until you do find the black woolen gloves. When you have found the black woolen gloves, that you should be all good to go. Now head over here to the mask store. Whenever you do get to the mask store, you're gonna need a vehicle that gives you a parachute. So like an oppressor mark II or a helicopter and make sure you fly high in the sky like I am. So after you are high enough in the sky, all you wanna do is aim yourself towards the mask store like this, jump out of your vehicle or jump off your vehicle, 
pull your parachute and start gliding towards the mast door just like this. And if you want to slow your character down, hold your left and right bumper at the exact same time and try to make sure your character hits the blue tarp so your character does fall just like this. And then you're going to want to start spamming right on the D-pad as soon as your character starts standing up like this. Now, your parachute will stay on or fall off. It doesn't really matter. Just hit edit saved outfits and then save the outfit on any slot that you want. After you do save the outfit, you can then just back out of the hats or the mask. The parachute will be off your character. Pull up your interaction menu, go to your style, go to your outfits, and re-equip the outfit, and the duffel bag will now be saved on the outfit forever. To prove that the outfit will stay and stick on your outfit, I'm going to scroll through my outfits just like this, and whenever I scroll back, you will see that the duffel bag is still on the outfit. Even after you do leave a session, even after you get off GTA, if you take the easy way out, the duffel bag will still be on your character just like this. So I hope everybody has a Christmas. I hope you guys like this Christmas thief outfit that I did make. I hope you guys did enjoy. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.